Hi, my name's Lily. Cosgrove. <laughs> Alright, so um, what's your favourite benchmark? Favourite benchmark workout is Grace, for sure. I love Grace. And your best Grace time? Best Grace time is 2.53. And so, uh, favourite lift? Favourite lift is probably clean and jerk. Makes sense. Yep, does make sense. So, um, tell us a little bit about your introduction to CrossFit. Uh, I started CrossFit in January 2009. I've heard a few things about it. My husband Phil had um, started at CrossFit Brisbane and he suggested I come along. Prior to that, I had been uh, going to a Globo gym and running on the treadmill and doing pec deck and things like that. And I thought I was really fit. And I tried CrossFit and just uh, immediately realised it was where I needed to be. Loved it. Alright, so when did you start thinking of CrossFit as a competitive sport? Uh, probably the start of 2010, I did a uh, CrossFit Rocks Rock Hard Challenge and I wasn't thinking of myself as a competitive CrossFitter at all, but something about doing the competition and being in that atmosphere and the vibe and the crowd and everything, I just, I realised I could push myself harder than I thought and it just sparked something inside me that uh, from that point on I really wanted to get into the competitive side of things. And so you, um... Did the sectionals that year? Tried to qualify for the games you met made to the regionals? Yeah, so that same year, 2010, <laughs> I decided I had so much fun at the Rock Hard Challenge, I decided to give it a go at sectionals just, just for just for fun to see what it felt like to challenge myself. And to my huge, tremendous surprise, I ended up uh, qualifying for the regionals, which was amazing. I think I came in 17th place or something like that in the top 20 for Queensland and uh, went down to regionals and just had an absolute blast. It was just an amazing experience. And since then, I've just been all about it. It's been great. Excellent. So last year, obviously, you qualified through the Open. Um, and tell us about your regional experience from last year. Yeah, so last year, I uh, competed in the Open. I just snuck in, I think, at 50th place, or yeah, maybe just under 50 uh, in the Open to make it into the regionals. and. Went down to the regionals, it was absolutely amazing, exciting experience, so much different to 2010. Um, a lot more pressure, a lot more uh, atmosphere, just crowd, energy, the wads were really exciting, but it was just an amazing experience. Um, had a really great time, came in 10th place, so I was very surprised and happy with that as well. Excellent. So, um... So what did you learn from, from that experience as far as you know, preparation and competition? I suppose I realised that I need to um, change my mental state because I've always it's always just been a happy surprise that I'm getting success. So I think it made me realise that I need to start actually focusing and um, treating myself as a, as a competitive athlete. And I've definitely um, changed my mental state and have a lot more focus now in my training and, and preparation and actually giving myself uh, a chance. So telling myself in my mind that you have a chance to, to go somewhere. So do you have a goal for this year's game season? I absolutely have a goal for this year. I would love to make it to regionals again. So just looking towards the Open at, at this point in time, I'd love to go to regionals. Uh, whether that is part of a team or as an individual, I'm not sure. And, you know, I don't think it's... I think you've got to tell yourself that the games is a possibility. You know, you've got to give yourself that chance in your mind. Whether it's this year, next year, in the future, I see CrossFit as a lifetime thing. So I think I'm working towards the games, and when that happens, I'm not sure. But you know, this year I'm going to give it my best shot. Excellent. So, um, what are your strengths as a competitor? Uh, I'm very tall, so I think my strengths are definitely um, things that tall people are good at. So box jumps, wall ball. I'm good at double unders. I'm not a bad runner. Uh, that sort of thing. I'm not bad on the medium, the light to medium weight uh, Olympic glutes in Metcons, things like that, so a medium snatch or medium plan jerk. I think I go all right on those things. I think I'm good in the sort of 10 to 20 minute period as well. And any, um, any weaknesses or you know, something that you're focusing on? This is? Yeah, I mean, everyone's got weaknesses. Mine is definitely gymnastics. So, um, you know, I'm tall. Um, I'm a bit heavier than some of the other athletes, so things like muscle ups, handstand push ups, I'm just working on. And I see that as a, a long thing that I'm going to take some time progressing with, but I've definitely had some, some success this year. But it's, it's going to take me a while to get my head around these things. 
Awesome. So, um, leading up to the Open this year, you were invited to compete in the Hard Enough Challenge. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, so this year I've been invited uh, to compete in the Again Faster Hard Enough Challenge. And I'm really excited. So, the format this year for the Hard Enough Challenge is a little bit different, and we have uh, the Elite category. And I've been invited to be a part of that. I feel really um, humbly grateful. That's really awesome. So, I'm just going to treat it as a fun opportunity to practice what I've been training for and uh, put myself out there in a competitive atmosphere and, and see how I go. In, uh, great. Who should we be watching in the, the, the elite fields for the partner challenge? I think uh, there's going to be a few dark horses possibly come through. I think in the women's field it's going to be really interesting to watch Eve Neville. She's um, a really strong competitor, did really well at regionals last year, so I look forward to seeing how Eve goes. Obviously, it's going to be great watching Camille and meeting Camille and seeing how she goes. Um, I think there'll be a few a few dark horses, some girls from uh, past regionals will do well, like Beck Eastwell, um, Megan Smith I'm sure will do well, so that's going to be great. In the men's field, the men's heat is really, uh, sounds really hot, I, I think there's going to be a very uh, exciting competition. There's going to be a few new people coming through the ranks, hopefully. So we're going to do well. I think Natan and Geva is going to do really well. Uh, I think the old favourites will do well, of course. Chris and uh, Chris Hogan, um, Jace Hayward, all those guys. It's going to be great. Excellent. All right. Thank you very much. Good. Well done. That's good.